Hi there. In this video I'm going to explain how to set up a workspace in Thinkorswim. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with Thinkorswim, when you launch the platform, this is the chart section. You can find this obviously up here at the top. And what we're going to do is just go over a couple of basics in creating a workspace. So right now we've got a weekly chart of Apple pulled up and one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to break this into a three cell grid. And the way you can do that is by clicking the icon up here at the top and then choosing three cells. And that'll divide this up into three different columns. And one of the first things that we'd like to or that I like to do is go ahead and link each one of these cells. So we'll go ahead and do that. And that's this icon right here and you see that on every chart. And right now we already have the red one selected, so we'll do the same on these other two cells. And what that's going to do by default is is just load the default settings. But uh, if you've saved a style previously, you can right click and then go to style and load style and then choose one of the styles you've saved before. So I've previously saved one that would have like the squeeze and vol average, but we'll go and just build something manually and then go from there. So what you can do real quick to just kind of maximize the space is anywhere on this top bar where there's kind of a blank area, you can double click and it'll maximize that particular cell. And if you want to go back to the triple cell view, what you can do is just double click again. But uh, we'll go back while we build this style out. So we'll just add a few indicators just to kind of explain how that works. So I'm going to right click and then I'm going to go to studies and edit studies. And that'll bring up our edit studies window. So the first thing I'm going to add is volume. And we'll do volume average. And that's ready to go. The next thing we're going to add is the squeeze and just double click on that and then we've got uh, our two indicators there. I mean you can obviously add whatever you'd like um, but in this example that's all we'll do. So click on apply and OK and then now I have kind of a basic style that I can save. So what I'm going to do is right click on the chart and then go to style, save style and then you can call this whatever you'd like. So um, you know, for me it's easier just to you know name them based off what the indicators are, so we'll just say vol average and then we'll say squeeze. And uh, it's important to check this box include patterns and study set. So just check that, click OK. And then what we're going to do is double click this blue bar again and now we're back to our three cells. So the next thing is we're going to line these up with the same style on each chart. Now obviously this is just how I'm doing it. You can, you know, obviously add different indicators, have different styles on each one, completely up to you. But uh, what we'll do is just right click, go to style, load style, and there we should find uh, the style that we just saved. And there we go. So we'll do the same thing on this other one. And now we have, you know, three identical charts. Um, from here, what you would maybe want to do next is look at different time frames. So on this one, we'll change this to a monthly. We'll change this one to a weekly. And this one to a daily. And so we have three different time frames, all giving us volume and average. So here's something else that uh, you can do um, if you want to quickly recreate this kind of setup um, but with different time frames. You can actually click on this icon up at the top right corner and you will get the option to uh, detach this window. And when you click that, it basically just duplicates it. So now I have the same window uh, duplicated and what you can do from here is then adjust these time frames. So you'll have two different windows and this is really handy if you run multiple monitors. So what I'm going to do now is just switch this to a 195, 78, and 39. And something I just want to point out really quick if uh, you know if you're not familiar with those particular time frames these are the time frames that uh, John and Henry both like to look at and um, we won't really jump into that too much but there is uh, a link I'll share with you real quick on how to do that. Alright, and here is the link for that. So it's just KB for knowledge base dot simpler trading dot com. And actually I just copied the wrong one. So should actually be this. 
So sorry about that. So kb.simplertrading.com forward slash quick. And that'll take you to a short video on basically customizing the time frames in Thinkorswim. But uh, now that we have, you know, the different time frames in two different windows, like I noted, you know, this would be really, in my opinion, helpful for if you're running multiple, uh, uh, multiple monitors. But uh, now that we have this kind of set up, what you might want to do is save this as a workspace. And so the way you would do that is we're going to go back to our main window here, not this secondary one. So I'll just go ahead and minimize this. And what you want to do is up here at the top right corner, we're going to click on Setup. Once you've clicked on Setup, you're going to go down to Save Workspace As. And this is really up to you what you call it. So I'll just call this 6-cell um, um, grid or something like that. So it's you know completely up to you, just an easy way to kind of reference it later. And then we'll just click on Save. And now what I want to do is go ahead and kind of close everything down and break it down to where it looks, you know, kind of as it did when we started. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and remove all of our studies just to kind of show you, you know, the benefit of this. So now I've got, you know, just a basic chart here with nothing on it. What I can do from here, and actually let me do one more thing because I've got this open still. So I'll just go ahead and close this. So now I have just a basic chart open. And so what you can do is once again back up its setup click on that and then now we can pull up the workspace that we just saved and if everything worked correctly when I click this you'll have to click OK Thinkorswim will close but then when it re reopens and there we go we should have uh, everything that we just did and here's that secondary window right here and uh, save the time frames indicators and everything so um, I hope that helps. It's definitely a good way to kind of, uh, you know, not have to reset everything up each time you open up Thinkorswim. Take care.